Jeremiah chapter 38. Then Shephatiah, the son of Matin, and Gedaliah, the son of Pasher, and Jucal, the son of Shemaliah, and Pasher, the son of Malchiah, heard the words that Jeremiah had spoken to all the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord, He that remaineth in this city shall die by the sword, by the famine, by the pestilence. But he that goeth forth to the Chaldean shall live, for he shall have his life for a prey, and shall live. And what God's telling the people is, go with the Babylonians. Don't fight. Give up. I hate to see those words happen to America. Give up. They wouldn't do it. Thus saith the Lord, this city shall surely. I think in the beginning, thou shalt surely die. And that's what Eve took the word out. This city shall surely be given into the hand of the king of Babylon's army, which shall take it. It's done. It's finished. There's no more repenting. There's no more getting right. Therefore the princes said unto the king, We beseech thee, let this man be put to death. That's what they wanted with Jesus. That's what they wanted with Peter. That's what they wanted with Paul. For this, for thus he weakens the hands of the men of war, the army, that remain in this city, and the hands of all the people, and speaking such words unto them. For this man speak, seeketh not the welfare of the people. But to her. Uh, you don't seek the welfare of the people but the hurt by not listening to God. Then Zedekiah the king said, Behold, he's in your hand, for the king is not he that can do anything against you. He ain't got no power and authority. Do what you want to him. Stop bugging me. Remember, he's been put in by Babylon. What a power that not even the king has the authority. Then took they Jeremiah, cast him into the dungeon in Malchiah, the son of Hamalek, that was in the court of the prison. And they let, Jeremiah, let down Jeremiah with cords, ropes. In the judging there was no water but mire, muck, goo, mud. So Jeremiah sunk in the mire. And we're not told how much, how deep he sunk. Now when ev the Ethiopian, one of the eunuchs, There's an Ethiopian eunuch that got saved in the book of Acts. Which of the king's house. There was a bunch of eunuchs that, that Elijah said, stick your head up. Who's on the Lord's side? Cast Jezebel over. <laughs> Throw her out. And heard what they had done to Jeremiah in the dungeon. The king sitting in the gate of Benjamin, where Jeremiah tried to leave. And Abimelech went forth into the king's house and spake unto the king, saying, My lord the king, respectful, these men had done evil in all that they had done to Jeremiah the prophet, whom they had cast into the dungeon. And he's like to die for hunger in the place where he is. For there is no more bread in the city. No food. Then the king commanded Abimelech 
and Ben Malik, the Ethiopian, saying, Take from hence thirty men with thee. Why? The princes. It's not that Jeremiah needs thirty men, it's the opposition. And take up Jeremiah the prophet out of the dungeon before he died. Well, at least he's making one rule, one command. So when ben Malek took the men with him and went into the house of the king under the treasury and took thence old cast cloths and old rotten rags and let them down by cords or ropes into the dungeon of Jeremiah. And then ben Malek the youth opened and said to Jeremiah, Put now these old cast cloths and rotten rags under thy armholes, under the cords. And Jeremiah did so. You're going to lift him out. So they drew Jeremiah up. I mean, so they drew up Jeremiah with cords and took him up out of the dungeon. And Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. Then Zedekiah the king sent and took Jeremiah the prophet unto him into the third entry. That is the house of the Lord. Very soon that house is going to get destroyed. And the king said unto Jeremiah, I will ask thee a thing, hide nothing from me. This is the final king. He's already had audience with Jeremiah. And Ze Jeremiah said unto Zedekiah, If I declare unto thee, will thou not surely put me to death? And if I give thee counsel, will thou not hearken unto me? You're not going to listen. Zedekiah the king swears secretly, no one to know, unto Jeremiah, saying, As the Lord liveth, that made us this soul, I will not put thee to death. I will. But those princes, they got more power than the king does. Neither will I give thee into the hand of these men that seek thy life. Then said Jeremiah to Zedekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, that thou will surely go forth unto the king of Babylon's princes. Then thy soul shall live, and this city shall not be burned with fire, and it will, and thou shalt live in thy house. But if thou wilt not go forth to the king of Babylon princes, then this, then shall this city be given in the hand of the Chaldeans, it does, and they shall burn it with fire, and it will, and thou shalt not escape of their hand, and he doesn't. And Zedekiah the king said to Jeremiah, I am afraid of the Jews that are fallen to the Chaldeans. There's already Jews in Babylon. At least they deliver me into their hand. And they mock me. Well, they've been mocking Jeremiah all along. People are afraid to be made fun of. And that's another reason why they won't witness for Jesus. People are going to hate me. People are going to say, listen, we had, we had two or three people today, you know. They don't like the preaching. And they profess to be Christians. You're jamming them down people's throat. No, I'm not. The videos will be happening pretty soon next week. I'm not yelling or screaming. Matter of fact, I post the meters. The meters say that I was at the level of traffic. And they profess to be Christians, and yet they hate the preaching of the gospel? What fruit are you? I'm afraid to be mocked. Jeremiah's been mocked all along. He's been slapped. He's been put in prison. But Jeremiah said, they shall not deliver thee. Obey. I beseech thee the voice of the Lord. Which I speak unto thee, so it shall be well unto thee, and thy soul shall live.
But if thou refuse to go, I mean, that would wipe Calvin off this planet. If, if. I thought Calvin said everything's been, been predetermined. Under Calvin, we're, there we have no right to make a decision. Calvin would say, Zedekiah, God has preordained thee. No, Jeremiah says if. And if. And if thou refuse to go forth, which he chooses, this is the word that the Lord has shown me. Behold, all the women that are left in the king of Judah's house shall be brought forth to the king of Babylon's princes. Happens. Those women shall say, Thy friends have set thee on, and have prevailed against thee. Thy feet are sunk in mire, and they are turned away back. That's what they're going to say about the king. Jeremiah just went through the mire. God's having Jeremiah say, listen, hey, look at what my prophet's been through. And you worry about yourself? So they shall bring out all thy wives and thy children to Chaldean. They do. And thou shalt not escape out of their hand. He won't. But shall be taken by the hand of the king of Babylon. Happens. And thou shalt cause this city to be burned with fire. It will. We know where Zedekiah chooses. Then said Zedekiah to Jeremiah, no, let no man know of these words, and thou shalt not die. Keep it secret, keep it quiet. Don't tell anybody. But if the princes hear that I have talked with thee, and they come unto thee, and say unto thee, declare unto us now what thou hast said to the king. Hide it not from us. We will not put thee to death also what the king said unto thee. So if they come and ask, then thou shalt say unto them, I presented my supplication before the king. We saw in that chapter 37. That he would not cause me to return to Jonathan's house to die there. That was chapter 37. So that's not a lie. That was chapter 37. But forget what you told me in chapter 38. Then came all the princes and Jeremiah and asked him, he told him, according to all the words which the king commanded. He's obeying the king. So they left off speaking with him, for the matter was not received. So Jeremiah abode in the court of the prison to the day that Jerusalem was taken. And he was there when Jerusalem was taken. So we know where Zedekiah chooses. 